from last year in training game, not as many games as you wanted, but statistically it was strong. So how do you build as a defense on what you did well last year? And really was just capitalizing off last year. Like, yeah, it was, we played good last year, but it didn't be good enough. So, you know, we fix a couple of things as a business and at the same time get our young guys. You want to fix? What, what do you feel like you guys can do a little better than you did last year? I mean, just like that stuff, like cover the bus, running around, it's smart for me. How big a deal is it? Have you noticed in the winter work that guys know what to expect now uh, with this coaching staff in year two as compared to year one? Do you see it a lot further along and just how things have gone? Oh, uh, yeah, I feel like it was a lot. Like, you know, it's just knew what was coming. You know, they didn't change things, so I feel like we knew it was coming. We had no choice but to attack it. No other way out of it. Individually, you had a, a, a solid year last year. What, When you look back at it, um, what, what kind of do you want to build on personally to, to take it to the next level? I want to become more explosive. Game more really. I really just try to finish my study. And it's not possible with our team, so. What do you make of the middle of that linebacker group with Nick and Luke moving on? Who do you like there to kind of step up and be those next guys? I really like all them guys. You know, they rotated a lot. So I'm comfortable with any of them playing because they all have this How has uh, the offseason workouts, the mad drills, what have you seen from your teammates in terms of how they've kind of attacked those? I mean, you see, like, it's the brotherhood is still getting built. Like we're still trying to find the foundation for it. But, I mean, you can see guys doing it for each other. It's not trying to make it do a workout. Coach White's name came out for a lot of jobs this offseason. I mean, how relieved was the room to know that he was coming back to, to lead you guys another year? That was good. There you go, a lot. That was good. I mean, he's a great coach. And uh, we knew that was opportunity. I'm very happy he's there. What do you like? He's the best player. He's the best player. Not too much coaching during the game. So you're going to make a play call and you just go. Is there anybody you think people are sleeping on? You expect some big things from this spring? Yeah, I expect big things from everybody. But if I had to point out like a couple of young guys, I would say Larry Tarver, Vincent Shavers, they kind of throw my eyes during that year. Just the, the way they go attack things? or Yeah, they first time doing it. So you just go out and attack it and you don't even know what you're doing. That's that speaks to numbers. All right. Can you guys go back and you know, do you reflect on last season? Do you ever watch former like games from last year or ones that just get flushed? Yeah, it just get flushed. Nothing from last year matters. And as a team, we know that. Jamari, can you speak to how, how, how much of a veteran presence there is on the on the D-line this year. Obviously, you have yourself, you got Ty and Nash, you know, and others with experience. How big of an asset can that be for this group? I mean, that's very big because, God forbid, but one of us go down, like, you can coach up whoever's stepping up in that position. But like I said, I'm comfortable with anybody being in the game because we all had experience and we hold on to the higher stand. How have you seen, um, you know, you had, had some freshmen last year, some true freshmen in that group. Popple, Ledhart, Prince Will. What have you seen this in this um, short period of the year so far since the season ended from those guys and how they're working to improve on their first year? I mean, they they were young last year and they were already kind of moving like this. So for them, I mean, they are gaining weight, putting on muscle. I mean, it's a big year for them.